Hey Sagittarius, how are my lovely Sagittarius doing? Welcome back to the Guiding Chariot. This is going to be your new weekly reading, my loves. All right, so house rules still apply, my friends. So this will be a general reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Cross watchers also welcome. Feel free to reverse the roles if need be. And as always, since this is general, take the messages as they resonate. Do not try to force anything. It either fits your situation or you leave it on the table. It's just meant for someone else. All right, my lovelies. Um, I feel like I'm going to condense these readings a little bit. Um, I'm uploading a new chariot chat video. Uh, probably will go up the same time these two, if not a little bit before. Um, but I, oh, okay, we're going to take that one. Um, I am going to be traveling the end of this week, so I kind of have to turn these out, so they might be a little shorter. Knowing how I like to gab, they probably won't be, but you never know. Um, but they are going to be a little more simplistic, and then we'll, we'll take more time uh, next week. Um, but we are going to pull some oracles, clarify our tarot, and then we're going to do something fun at the end. So stay tuned. Sages. Sages. Oh. Sagittarius, you guys just are on a roll. Every time I do a reading, like sometimes the messages feel like one week, you know, I'll get a message for this group. One, next week, I'll, you know, I'll get some messages for some others, you know, because there is, you know, we're reading for the collective. There's a lot of you out there. But Sagittarius, you guys just seem to be like this level, next level, next level, next level, next level. Like you guys are, you guys are on a roll. You guys are on a roll. So first card, this is the one that came out flying on its own. Inner knowing. Inner knowing. So trusting... You know, and I was going to say, your guides was the first thing I wanted to say. I was, I was going to say trusting your guts. And literally my mind was like, guides, say guides, say guides. <laughs> so with that being said, you guys are probably downloading a lot. Whether it's consciously or, or unconsciously, it doesn't really matter. But trusting yourself on a very deep level. It's not, it's not just, it doesn't feel like it's just gut feelings, you know, which is, is a version of that. But it does feel that there's this sense, you just kind of know the next step. You know you need to do this. You know your life requires this. You know this situation needs this. You know, whether it's balance or action or or you have to say something and speak up or you need to like let things flow, like whatever that is, you need to trust what feels right inside of you because that crazy powered up right now. Crazy powered up right now. Even with this card coming up, decisions, right? You're going to have to make shots. You're going to have to, you know, call make shots. I don't know what I meant to say. Make decisions, call the shots. I probably just slammed those two sentences together. You know, so this, I almost say this is almost a week where you have to take action. And it may not actually be physical action, but when you think of decisions, right, it's definitive. Like you kind of almost have to declare, this is, this is where I stand. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what needs to get done, right? So when I say this is a week of action, it's, it may just be in declaring action. The moment to actually do physical work may not be upon you yet. You know, I can't imagine, it's, if it's not, I can't imagine it's very far, far away, right? Because if, you, if you're making the decision to do something, the best thing to do at that point is to then do it. So for most of you, I do think they will go hand in hand. For some of you, it might just be, you need to answer the question and then, and then we'll get to the work in a moment. But it does feel that, you know, things are going to pop up this week where you're just going to have to react to them, right? And, and I don't say that in a bad thing, and it doesn't mean you weren't prepared or you didn't see it coming, but it's kind of like the clock ran out. And you're like, oh, nope, now's the time. This is the moment. This is the moment. You know, but it, it's not going to come out of the blue. I don't feel like these are sudden decisions, but it's, re it's when I say it's reacting because you maybe weren't expecting this question to come up today. You know, I wasn't expecting this right in this moment, but you've already you've already prepared on some level for it. So it's kind of trusting your gut. When that moment happens, that you take your first instinct, right? Take your first instinct. Trust that. You know, and then you have this hope card. So I don't want to. It's almost kind of like trust your first instinct. Hopes it, hope it works out. You know, so it's not hoping it works out in the it may not. This hope is is hope in yourself. It's faith that you know what, what is needed. Because we're talking about your life. This is you knowing what's best for you, right? Sag. Oof. That's exciting. Oh, 
That's inner knowing card though. That's the big one. That is the biggie. Take that. Oh. Oh, now we want to be chatty, huh? Now we want to get chatty. Yeah, we're going to take them like that. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We're going to talk about these. Oh, here, let me show them to you first. You guys got the six of wands. So success, victory, recognition, possibly stepping into the spotlight for some of you. Seven of wands. Yes self-confidence, doing things your way. This also, great card to really be talking about. This is my life. I'm calling the shots. We're going to play by my rules. Why? Because this is my life. You want to play in the sandbox, these are the rules. Hang band. So definitely some introspection, introspection coming up. And it's kind of hilarious how they came out. Having this, this recognition card coming out under in, inner knowing you know, having your independence and doing things your way under decisions and this introspective, very reflective inner journey in the hangman coming out under hope. What did I tell you? You guys, alignment off the charts, Sag. But again, this, this is going to ask you to be very, very strong, right? Very, very strong. Almost protecting yourself in a way as well. And when I say protecting, not in a sense where, you know, you're in danger. Oh, someone ran away. Hold on. Um, let me finish this thought because if I bend down and pick that up, I will forget it. But protecting yourself as in, I know what feeds me. I'm not going to back down anymore. I'm not going to choose myself second over someone else because I want someone else to be comfortable. It's not about being selfish. It's not about being bossy. But you're like, no, I know this is right for me. I know this has to happen. Right, so I, I'm not going to make myself suffer to support you, right? There should be a way where we both can do this. You know, and I say both. It could be as many people, whatever. And it could be a partner, it could be family, it could be kids, it could be, you know, mom, dad, neighbor, coworker, whoever. But this is about not choosing yourself second. Again, because there's going to be other opinions on what you should do. And you're like, nope, my life, I got to do it my way. Oh, Sag, two aces, not one, but two. So we've got ace of cups and ace of swords. Huge self-love moment here for you with ace of cups. And then ace of swords, clarity, truth, enlightenment. It is communication, right? So again, more synchronicities. <laughs> This, this self-love, nurturing yourself, what emotionally feels good, emotionally brings you joy and happiness, and just oh, gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling inside, and communicating your truth, living your truth, being authentic, right? Having the clarity and understanding of what is right. You know, and it could be, you know, what's right for you, what the right course of action is, you know, what the decision is. With these aces, those Aces can also bring about new beginnings as well. So you might be starting something new for yourself, whether it's a new way to feel about yourself and to treat yourself or a new understanding of what to do. It's a big, that's a big one, especially with that Ace of Swords sitting in the middle. So lots of communication, lots of clarity for you. How do we want to take that? We're going to do this. Yes. Knight of Cups. Okay. So this may have to deal with a past lover or a past relationship. Now, it's funny I say that because Knight of Cups doesn't necessarily resemble someone from the past. Um, Lord knows this is the, f I think this is the first time I've ever said that. But because I'm looking at the hangman above it, and so we're reflecting, we're going in. It does make me think we're reflecting about some romantic partner from the past, whether they are still around now or not. I almost want to say they are. Some of you, you, the, you may be talking to this person and having to declare and make some decisions. So for some of you, it might not be past, it might be present, but they kind of need to be in your past. I don't know. But 
yeah, this particular night is making me, th this isn't love coming in. This is love we are reflecting upon. We are, it's weird to say analyzing, but that's kind of what the Ace of Swords is, right? It's all about the mind, right? So there may be, oh God, I didn't even see that. Eight of Cups, bottom of the deck right now. So yeah, I think this is present love or, or someone you've had in your life before and it's about separating, it's about redefining that relationship. I can't do it like this anymore for, you know, whatever reason. Um, ooh, this is heavy. Is this heavy, Sag? It's probably been heavy on you too. This person may have been may have been the setback. This person may have been, again, that what I was talking about here where you chose yourself second. I chose to, you know, be the wife or husband. I chose to be the associate, the partner. I chose to put this dream on hold for our dream. Our dream. You know, ooh. Even looking at this, this person's eyes, they're so dark. Like, I, I definitely don't want to say this person was manipulative or anything like that, because that's just not, that's just not me. But, like, the more I look at this card, the more, like, like, spellbound I feel. Like, this person, like, bewitched you in a way. It's, oh, this is a weird, oh, I don't like that. That's such a weird, I can't. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, but, yes, I, oh, oh, this one. Because even look at, you know what else I keep looking at? I hope you can see in the image, but there's all these threads coming off this guy's back to his horse. You know, like this guy, like, and I say guy because I'm looking at a knight. It's not, you know, it's not about gender. So it could be a woman, could be a man. doesn't matter. Um, but it feels like this person got, either got you tangled up in stuff or is tangled up in stuff. You know, and you, you know, because you love this person so much, because you were committed to this relationship, it forced you to, make certain decisions, act a certain way that wasn't in your best interest, which is never the right course of action, right? It should benefit everyone involved. Um, ooh, this person took major advantage or, or, or at least, at least took way more than they ever gave, right? Ooh, and okay, sorry, I saw it peek out from under, but underneath that eight of cups is the nine of cups, right? So it's walking away from this current situation to have your wishes fulfilled, right? With the Nine of Cups. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to forget a card to cover that Knight of Cups. I don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> like, I really don't. Oh, Spirit, you're so rude. Give me one more. I don't want to look at him. I don't want to look at him. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're gonna put that one a little higher. I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want it. Oh my god, Sagittarius! Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles, beautiful things coming together, right? The right people, the right resources entering your reality. I love that. <laughs> Can't stop laughing. So we've got this three of cups, beautiful energy, right? So celebration, friendship. So this is you connecting with people who support you, who love you, who cheer you on. These are all your cheerleaders take some time these because you know with the six of wands in this same stack this could also be fans or customers if you have a business right because the six of wands speaks about stepping into the spotlight you know being the center of attention so this is you know your adoring fans who want to see you and interact with you and engage with you there's a lot of support there so i love seeing that love seeing that for you sag and then we have Chariot. This is you making progress, moving forward. For some of you, this may be travel even. Um, but again, this is it. the key is progress. It's progress. It's moving forward. Because what you're leaving behind is doubt, insecurity, inner conflict. And again, this inner conflict is really because in a previous situation, I keep wanting to say romance. It doesn't have to be, so take it as it resonates. But I think romance is the strongest one coming through. Where again, this was you either felt you had to choose yourself second or that's just, you know, you were just generous enough to let it be that way. But that, no, 
that created so much inner conflict, that created so much doubt, and not not competitiveness, right? Because it's not the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is way more combative, but it's just it's this energy of just having to like it, it gives me like keeping up with the Joneses. Like it's just constantly trying to trying to stay a step ahead, trying to be higher than the next person, right? As they're like climbing these wands, right? Just, I don't want to be, I don't want the bottom, I got to keep pushing, got to keep pushing, got to keep hustling, got to keep doing, kind of, I have to outsmart this person, out with that person, da, da, da. It's, it's such a rat race. It's such a rat race, Sag, that you don't need to be in. There's no benefit for you to be in it. It's just, it's just an overuse of energy that you don't need to do anymore, right? Ooh, I just, I really don't want to look at that. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to do one more little fun thing before we wrap this up. We have this beautiful new moon in Pisces coming up. Um, I talk a little bit about it in the Chariot Chats video, but making beautiful aspects with Pluto along with Venus and Saturn. Oh, it's starting to rain outside. I love it. Um, but a great moment for you to really dream big, really romanticize what the future holds for you. Uh, especially your spiritual path as well, since it's happening in in the sign of Pisces. Let's see what we get for you, Sag. No, no. Oh, okay. High one. Yep. What did I tell you? Level up, level up, level up. Said it in the beginning. Growth. Yes. Yes, 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 Sag. You are growing. You are advancing. Things are getting bigger and better for you. So as you as you dream of this future. Where is it you see yourself going? What do you want to expand? What do you want to develop? Where do you want your energy to feed and nourish so that it sprouts and gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Ooh, love, 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 love. All right, my lovelies, I'm gonna wrap it up there. As always, sending you guys love, sending you guys all the good juju I can. I am wishing you the best. Thank you. As always, I'm so grateful for all your love and support. I ask you continue to help me to grow this channel. Make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know how things are resonating for you. I definitely appreciate that. Um, you can message me on Instagram at the Guiding Chariot. Um, oh, and yes, I, I did I mention this earlier? I am going to be traveling, um, and I won't be posting to YouTube while I'm gone. So um, I do plan to take some decks with me. So maybe I'll do like daily posts. I don't know. Who knows? I might even do a couple just for funs and giggles. Um, but that will all be on Instagram, so make sure you're following my Insta Instagram account to see that. Um, but other than that, stay well, take care of yourself, stay safe. I love you guys, and I will see you in your next video. Bye!